and your jump pack just doesn't have enough, this is the solution. Okay, I'm going to use my truck here as an example. Um, have you ever connected your jump pack to a vehicle and you go to crank it over on a cold winter day or whatever the case may be with a really dead battery and all of a sudden you realize, man, my jump pack just doesn't quite have enough power. Did you ever wish you could just somehow magically increase, double the uh, power of your jump pack? Well, this was my solution to that deal. If I just turn my jump pack over, you'll notice I got a, one of those Anderson Power Pole style quick disconnects on there. That particular one is a generic brand from Amazon. But uh, what I did is I got another jump pack battery um, off of eBay, same type of battery that's inside the jump pack. Made a connection, you know, uh, another Anderson power pole, the opposite side of the other, you know, the other half. Connect it up. And now I got doubled the battery power out of that jump pack. Without having to somehow figure out how to get more connections onto those tiny little side posts. You know, it'd be one thing if it was a diesel or if it was, uh, you know, a vehicle with two batteries, like say a semi-truck. Sometimes I've put four jump packs on semi-trucks, but... You put one jump pack on one battery, or on each battery, and it's no problem. Well, you, you, there'd be no way you could put two jump packs on this one battery with those tight little side posts on there. There's not even enough room to hardly get one jumper cable clamp on there, let alone two. So now, with this set up here, you know, it's just a battery inside of an old Mac Tools tool bag. You can buy these at Home Depot also. They're, they say Husky on them. And it's literally the same battery that's inside the jump pack. It's one of those little uh, lead uh, sealed lead acid batteries. And, uh, you know, they're like 40 bucks on eBay or Amazon. They're not much money at all. It's much better than, you know, having to buy a second jump pack for, you know, I think the cheapest you can get them for is like 99 bucks on eBay. But, you know, sometimes they're up to, you know, 130, 150, 175 bucks, depending where you buy them. And this way, for an extra $40 plus you know, 10 or 15 bucks for the Anderson power pole, and I had the cable laying around, you know, I was able to double the power of my jump pack with just parts I had laying around, basically, with buying an extra battery. So now I've doubled, I, it's still a 12-volt jump pack, but I've doubled the wattage because the batteries are wired internally. The connections are all made in parallel, not series. So I've doubled the amperage at 12 volts, and now I've got twice the power going effectively going to my starter. So that's a good way to uh, double the power output of your... You can do this to any jump pack, really. And uh, I will put links in the description below to where you can get all this stuff, the cable, the connection, you know, the jump pack, uh, the batteries, you know, all this stuff. If you want to see how I built this thing, stick around after this. I'm going to show a few pictures and give a little bit of dialogue on how I wired it and how I mounted everything and how I basically how I built it. It's not too tricky. It's pretty simple, but if you feel like you're going to attempt this yourself, I'll you know, give you a little bit of a, an idea how I did mine. This is by no means meant to be a step-by-step how-to. If you're going to attempt doing this yourself, you need to be you know, familiar with electrical and electricity and, and connectors and crimping and, you know, wiring and stuff like that. So this is not a step-by-step how-to for, I don't want to say beginners, but you should at least be familiar with this if you're going to attempt this. But like I said, stick around. I'm going to give you a few pictures and some dialogue to show, show the process of how I built this thing along the way. It didn't take very long. It was a pretty easy project, but um, give you an idea what it looks like. And this way you can see the inside of a jump pack too, this particular jump pack anyhow. Um, they're pretty basic. It's just a battery in a box, basically, with a little built-in charger and a voltmeter on it. So, um, yeah, stick around. I'll show you right after this how I did it. Okay, this was a shot from when I was mocking up the Anderson power pole onto the back of the jump pack panel. And this is a shot from the inside. You can see the flat washers and lock nuts that I used. And there's the... Uh, hammer crimper that I use with my dead blow hammer to make the the crimps and there's a close-up shot and you can see it does a pretty nice job and that's a close-up of the finished product and then the next one you'll see here using uh, heat shrink tubing with the epoxy the melted epoxy liner it's good stuff 
There's a shot of the Anderson power pole connected back onto the jump pack with the wires going through. And that's an interior shot of the wires coming through the inside. And the copper uh, connectors I used for the other ends of the battery cables. And again, with use the hammer crimper to make the connection. And a good heat shrink tubing to keep moisture and oxygen out to prevent oxidation. And here's a shot from the inside. This is kind of interesting. It's sideways, so it's kind of hard to see, but you can tell all the wires come in from the back panel and then they wrap around the outside to make the connection at the battery itself. Here's a picture of the battery inside the bag. I'm using long metric bolts and nuts. They are threaded female holes in the battery and I ran the bolts in all the way and then ran the nuts down on top just to make sure I had full thread engagement for a good connection. Here's the Anderson power pole. Uh, you can see I'm using two red battery cables because that's all I had and you make do with what you got. But I, I ran an extra long piece of shrink tube on there to re-identify the negative. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe and uh, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.